today we are talking about a touchy subject, food and fitness. <laughs> I'm Robin and this is Sonia and we are Bali Moms on the go. <laughs> food and fitness. Yeah, it's like going back from holiday break, this all the treats, the good food, and then sometimes it's tricky to go back to a healthy diet. Like, yeah, I'm still craving for like some chocolate and like feeling like this. So, and, and a lot of it's still around the house, right? We were just yes. talking about that. Yeah, Sonia was showing me her chocolate boxes. It's still, <laughs> it's still, still here, you guys. <laughs> still there. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, I spend a lot of time talking to people about this every day. And uh, in January, it becomes more prevalent or I get the opportunity, I guess, to talk to more people because more people are making an effort to come and see me. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and so that's a really great thing. Um, but then you also hear about the big drop off that happens in like February or March. And that's what we want to talk about, um, why sort of why that's happening and, uh, mm -hmm. and how food and fitness relates to you. All year. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the trend to like have this resolution to like now I'm gonna mm. be healthy. I'm gonna change the diet. I'm gonna try this diet, this famous famous trend diet. Whatever it and is, then do it because I don't. I like. Uh, I just want to like uh, lose the pounds that you gain during the holiday season. Yeah. And I think it's coming sometimes, not often, not all the time, but often it's coming from a place where the objective or the goal, the real goal, why you're doing that, is not really. Um, Define properly. Yeah, actually, that's exactly true. And uh, I just posted yesterday, I don't know if you saw that, I just posted yesterday about the why and how people lack the success at the end because they don't start with that connection to their why. I think we did a video about that. And uh, and so we're, we've done so many videos, we're forgetting <laughs> which ones we did. But um, the, the reasons behind it often become more from a social pressure than from an actual internal need mm -hmm. or desire to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and after the holiday break, you don't feel very good because you've been, you have been eating poorly and maybe a, li a little bit lazy, but with intention of rest, which is yeah. always a good thing too. Um, but then you want to feel better. So that's yeah. part of it too, right? But, but you're not really connecting to how it's going to make you feel better or why you don't feel good or yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's a really valid, mm -hmm. really valid point. Yeah. And, it, and it's good to understand yeah, that food is your fuel. So as you're going back to January, yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. understandable that you want to have healthier habits and then put it more better quality food in your body. Yeah. It's totally understandable. I think there is also a um, part of the, the gut, the gut, the gut. And I think it's a, it's the one that maybe not enough people are familiar with it yeah like there is a third brain which is the gut one yeah that controls our craving yeah and um a lot of things and a lot of things yeah <laughs> sorry so many so many diseases are are now uh, the new research is showing that so many diseases are now being related back to the health or yes. lack thereof of the gut and we in you know uh, civilized society, I guess, in, in North America and, and probably in some parts of Europe and, and, and everything as well, where there's lots of fast food, there's lots of quick options, lots of sugar, lots of carbs, you know, those sorts of things um, have even generationally mm -hmm. started to affect how our guts react, which is why you hear so much now about food allergies and gluten intolerances and dairy intolerances yeah. and all of these things are occurring because of generational, mm -hmm. um, you know, because of epigenetics, because of yes. what our parents did and what our grandparents did. And then we are now doing even worse than they did as far as, as taking care of our gut health, which is going to pass down to our children. And that's why when people always say, well, they didn't have these allergies when we were kids, you know, that's, that's the reason yeah. is, is because it has so taken, changed. Yeah. And yeah. So yeah. So if you're not familiar with the gut, uh, so to very simplify it, so then you can really get yeah. an understand, an understand um, you can really understand that. My French is but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fringlish. <laughs> Let's go Fringlish. <laughs> Be ready. <laughs> so all the gut is like you have um, a microbiome, which is a, a mix of microorganisms mm -hmm. in your gut. So in your intestine, um, your big intestine, 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 intestine. 
Yeah. yeah, whatever. So you have good ones and bad ones that needs to balance. And when there is an imbalance, that's where, uh, as Robin said, there is a lot of issues, health issues. Yeah. yeah. And knowing better you get and what's good or not good and to really get the balance, that's where you have room to be healthier. Yeah, there's a book called Gut. Actually, it's called G G U T. Mm -hmm. It's a it's an amazing book to explain to sort of general population to the average person about what those what those uh, organisms are mm -hmm. are doing and causing in in the gut. And but the good news is is that it is manageable. Oh yeah. And so you can heal your gut. You know. So we started talking about food and fitness, and we want to relate that back to no. Uh, trend diet because neither of us believe in that sort of thing and so um, a lot of you might have thought that we were going to tell you the secret to fast results and all of that thing but we don't work that way and we want you to think about how could you create a space where health could happen and that space is right here in your tummy and so if you could take the time and this is what it, i did i did uh i did an entire elimination diet in order to reset mm -hmm. you know rebuild, yeah, rebuild. The, the organisms that the, the correct organisms i also started taking probiotics mm -hmm. a few years ago and that was very um life-changing for me mm -hmm. and it made it so that i can now have some of those foods that that maybe were really causing me problems before. Um, it's really an interesting approach. Instead of saying, I'm going to do this diet and lose this much weight and get fit by this date. Yeah. We say, I'm going to rebuild the health of my gut. Yeah. And then that is going to bring me um, to a place where food and I have a better relationship. Because oh, yeah. you really start to look at food in a different angle. Mm -hmm. You know oh yeah so yeah. if it's a topic that you really would like to learn more so yeah. can advise some nutritionists to really talk about it so yeah. they can really share their tips yeah. and really get a better view of how it works totally yeah. yeah and if you know something about it then we want you to comment below and tell us a little bit about that yes. as well yeah because it's a very wide topic so it's okay. a very wide topic yeah There's and i think that our message is is just to take your time instead yes. of worrying about rushing it. because you're unique yeah so you're on your unique journey of being healthy. Your yeah. body is your body. No one has the same body as you. Yeah. So you have to understand how it works, what fits better, what feels like uh, not the best way, and yeah. then like balance, and then go to a place where you improve. Well, and in my experience in the gym, those people who are trying to do things quickly and, and trying to get that fast result, fail. And so, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing because they can get up and try again. But those people that we talk about that aren't falling off between February and March at the gym with their fitness and with their nutrition are people who tried to find something that was a quick fix rather than try to build habits and a relationship with food and a relationship with, with movement and what that looks like for you. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we didn't talk much about fitness, but we can do that know. later. Yeah. Now, so now we can talk about fitness. Yeah. Like, whatever your diet is going to look like, um, I think there is one thing that you can do anyway. is being, being active. Be active, yeah. That's something that your body will always be grateful for. And whatever it looks like. Yeah. It's like going to the gym and yeah. then have a new resolution. But be aware. I know, I know. Be aware. I know, I know, about, I know, I know. I know. Dance. <laughs> yes. You can dance and party in your kitchen. Or you can follow uh, any dance classes. Go for a walk. Yeah, go for a walk if it's not too freezing cold. <laughs> go ice skating with your kids. Sonia did yes. that a lot this winter. Yeah. Um, so you can be like, there's many, many, many ways to stay active. And yeah. uh, like when you work, if you're like sitting a lot and then just like, kind of, I don't know, move your body. Like you have yeah. to move your body. Yeah. And that that's the beginning. This is where you start, right? And then obviously some people want have bigger intentions. They want to be a famous dancer or they want to be a power lifter or, you know, those sorts of things. If that's what you want, that's great. But we all have to start mm -hmm. somewhere. Or restart. Right? Or restart. Yes. So we begin again. <laughs> we know. We know you guys. We're there. We understand. <laughs> um, so yeah, move, move, move. And move a little bit more than you are today. Right, yeah. unless you're me, because I move too much. Well, <laughs> I need more. Of I need too. to find my other side of that and the, the rest Relax. of the recovery. Yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So our three very much insights. Yes, three. So insights. the first one is understand your gut, as we say. Mm -hmm. Do like some research. Yeah. 
read books, uh, yeah. look at podcasts, videos. Talk to your doctor, mm-hmm. talk to your naturopath, find, find a nutritionist, a registered dietitian. Yes. Yeah, we had, uh, we had uh, um, Alina yeah. on, so she would be a great resource for stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. We have yeah. other people that might be able to share. Yeah, that. if you're, if you're yeah. looking for um, referrals, let us know, because yes. we, we both know we have quite a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two. Take your time. Take your time, you guys. Slow down. Yes. This all doesn't have to happen in now. January. Yeah. You know? And when you hit the gym, if that is what you're going to do, don't go six days a week to start. That's too much. It's too much. Go be reasonable with your time. So release the pressure mm-hmm. so that you can achieve your goals at some point. Yeah. Release like that. Release that. Step, yeah. 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 That's release a really good way to say it. Step. Release that pressure because that pressure is all yeah. here. Yeah. No one is pressuring you. No, it's just about your own needs. Yeah. Like, what do you really need? Exactly. And when? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And realistically, when? <laughs> yeah. And number three? Yes. Be active. Be Whoop. active. Let's more. more. Let's, Let's dance. dance. Do Whoop. something. Whoop. Oh, I, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> so comment below. What's your uh, food and fitness journey when you're restarting like this yeah. new year? Yeah. Share, share, share your tips. Share your tips. Ask your yeah. questions. As long as they fall in line with the things that we're talking about, you guys. So don't sell your diet. It doesn't work. It <laughs> doesn't work. We don't support that. All right, you guys. Good job. Thank you. Keep going. Bye. Bye.